Okay, so now let's take a look at the next one, which is question number seven. Here we need to create a new spreadsheet, and we need to <coughs> do something like this. We need to merge cells A1, B1, and C1. Then again, we need to merge cells A2, B2, and C2. Okay. Then we again have to change the color. Then the font size should be bigger for the Bank of Tawara. And accordingly, we have to design like this with the border and let's see with the background color. So it will be something like this. Okay. So the Bank of Tawara here, then the ethical global bank, bank statement. Again, we have to merge these two cells, which is B2 and C2. So let's take a look at the question again. So if we look here in cell B4, okay. A user should only enter a valid date between 1st of January 2018 until today's date. So this is the validation rule we need to give it to cell B4. Okay. So let's go to B4. So in B4 we go to data. You have to click on data and then we go to data validation. So click here on data validation. Go to settings. So start date. So what is the start date? It is from the 1st of January 2018 until today. So today will be 20 of February 2020. Okay. So we set the date, start date, and the end date. And we can also give an error alert. So this is the error. Please enter a valid date. So you can enter some text to display to the user when they enter a wrong date. So that's it. So click OK. So let's try this and by entering say our invalid date for the next year. So we get an error message here, enter a valid date and then we say, we say no, we don't know and then we all can say cancel. Okay, so that's it. And then don't forget to give the border and shading, the font. Okay, here is uh, Arial and the size is 28. So accordingly we can design okay so thank you this was the question paper of may 2018